Hey everybody, wanted to cover a topic today. I see this mentioned a lot in the comments that, uh, for instance, if XRP goes to $25,000 per, I hear, oh man, but that's gonna make the market cap bigger than the GDP. Um, so I hear our gross domestic you know, product. And, and I hear comments like that all the time and the illusion behind that statement has to be cleared up because the illusion behind that statement is that the amount of market cap money is the amount of money housed in whatever asset it is, let's say XRP. So the illusion is that XRP has that much money um, in an account somewhere, I guess, uh, but that is fictitious. And um, I used AI to make the video because I, I did it all through text and then had AI correct my text. And then I thought, hey, I'm just gonna run it through and let it give an explanation and it's got a visual and it explains and shows an example of uh, market cap and actually how it's involved and how, how that figure is derived and what that figure is. So it's only a few minute video, so I hope you'll enjoy it. And uh, by the way, links in the description for a decent wallet. You need self custody. Go ahead and pick you one up. These sell like fire. Ever said people like, why do you always have a commercial? These sell like they're on, like they're just burning off the shelves. Ever since I've announced them, I consistently have consistent sales on a regular basis. So I offer them all the time because I can offer a discount. So use that discount link. And let's go ahead and get started. We'll review our first three coins right away and then jump right into it. Be real quick, look at this. XRP at 5560, let's take a look at the chart. Yep, it's just been going down. No surprises there, you've probably been following it. Here's Quant, we're just about to go below 60 where I will buy more. Look at this chart. Very bearish. Looks like it's just going down. Now let's look at crypto trading fund. Well, it's at a buck 20 right now. So it look at it, its chart. It's been going nothing but up. Let's go to their Twitter page real quick. Okay, on their Twitter page, you can hit CTF uh, right here. You can hit this um, CTFToken.com and go right to their site and that's where you can buy it. People have been saying, where can you buy it? Cause it's not on the exchanges right there. Just go on their website. Here's a clearer explanation of how market capitalization or market cap works for a new cryptocurrency. Scenario, you have created 100,000 new coins. Each coin starts at one cent. So the initial total value or market cap is $1,000. Now let's break down the sales. First batch. You sold 25,000 coins at one cent each. This means you raised a total of $250. Second batch. You sold another 25,000 coins, but this time the price increased to 10 cents each due to some positive developments. So you raised a total of $2,500. Third batch coins sold 25,000. Price jumps $1 each after major bullish news. Total money raised 25,000 coins times $1 equals $25,000. Fourth batch coins sold 25,000 price soars, $10 each due to even more significant news. Total money raised, 25,000 coins times $10 equals $250,000. Market cap calculation, final price, $10 per coin, total coins, 100,000 market cap, 100,000 coins times $10 equals $1 million. Real money invested. The actual money that went into buying these coins from the company, not including any trading on secondary markets is, $250 for the first batch, plus $2,500 for the second batch, plus $25,000 for the third batch, plus $250,000 for the fourth batch, which totals $278,750. Key point market cap, which is $1 million, does not reflect the amount of real money that was directly invested in the company through the sale of these coins. Instead, it represents what the total value of all coins would be if they were sold at the current market price, which in this case is $10 per coin. This example illustrates that market cap is a theoretical value based on the last known price per coin, not the actual cash inflow to the company from selling the coin. 
Now there you see it. Now this is the same for stocks, not just tokens. When a stock goes up and up and up in price, the current price times how many shares there are is a figure that they use to establish a market capitalization. Market capitalization means the market is has determined by sales that this number is how much each one of the shares is worth. So it's a market capitalization, meaning if they all sold at this price, that's what the whole value would be. But as you know, if everybody tried to sell all at once, it would bottom out. But, but we're also counting on not everybody's wanting to sell. So at the current market capitalization is multiplied by the shares times the current selling price. That's what XRP is right now. That's what it will be also as the price starts to go up. This asset is going to make us very, very wealthy. Um, I am, people say, well, you're just bullish XRP. Yeah, but not without reason. I've done hundreds of videos and studied XRP. We have, if you look through all the videos, we have talked about all the features. We've talked about how they work, what they do. We've talked about clawback. We've talked about the EVM. The um, uh, We've talked about uh, the AMM. We've talked about all the features of the coin. And then on my channel, what I have focused a lot on is to show people how the price can be that much because of the FUD that surrounds the 100 billion uh, tokens, the 100 billion coins. There's so much uncertainty and doubt around that idea. That 100 billion coins has just thrown everybody for a loop. But there's so many other things to look at. There's coins are tied up in so many different ways. That they can, they're going, there's some coins that'll never be sold. People, you know, in their lifetime, their kids will sell them. There's people that will be holding the coins and doing liquidity loan, will do loans against uh, capitalization loans. I'm sorry. They will be doing collateral loans against their XRP. There's other people that will put that XRP in the AMM. Now those coins can only be used if they're rented. So then that's a way you can make money with your XRP because as you've heard stated by many, many people over and over and over is this wasn't intended for retail. Well, it might not have been intended for retail because an intention for retail would then take it off the market for its intention for banks to do cross-border transactions. It was actually intended for both. So when I hear that, it's like, it's like, well, it's not totally accurate. If, if it wasn't intended for the public, they would have not offered it to the public, but it is offered to the public. So we hold an institutional grade coin that is gonna be used for cross-border transactions that is gonna get filled full of money. Adoption has not taken place yet. There is minor adoption going on. There is a lot of testing going on and regulatory clarity is needed. Now, I hope if Mr. T gets in the office, then uh, rather than uh, Harris, um, he has promised to have regulatory regulations passed in the first 100 days. That would be fantastic because we're here. What do we got? Five days left before uh, Ripple is to pay or XRP, whoever it is that's going to pay the fines um, is going to pay the fines. So there's only a few days left for there to be an appeal. Isn't that right? If you know how many days it is, put it in the comments because it just, it just left my mind. But, um, uh, this is what we're counting on and waiting on is to get clarity and then the coin's going to go through the roof and that much money, the, the amount of money I'm talking about, what your uh, market capitalization would be if the price is huge at a thousand, at 10,000, at 25,000, at 2,500, had somebody make a comment at 2,500 times 100 billion, that's more than market cap. Well, sure it is. But that doesn't mean all that money's piled up there because half of them are locked away and, and aren't even a part of that. But they go up in price also, don't they? Because the common trading price, the market capitalization figures it to be 
worth that much. Anyway, hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry if I rambled on, but I'll see you next video.